Hey gamers here, welcome to driver log number 12. Long awaited as I always say, we're finally back here in our home headquarter garage Berlin where I've got another brand new truck for us to take a look at today. This beauty is the Kenworth T660 JK edition. I think it's the T. Yeah, T660 JK edition. Uh, this truck came out a while ago. I've had it in my... Uh, in my mods folder since about September and it had been out a few months since then we're on to patch 1.15 right now which just came out a few days ago so there's some new goodies there and uh, this truck still works still working real good in fact got her all painted up nice and Christmassy red because today we've got a very special load to haul we've got to go and haul some uh, Christmas presents uh, for Santa. Santa's sleigh is broken down, so we're going to be using the Kenworth here to haul Christmas presents from point A to point B, getting them to the little children on time for Christmas, which is just around the corner. The chrome on this truck, as you can see, looks fantastic. It's got a nice mirror image, as it should. The interior looks pretty good. Um, got this one dressed up. I've, I, I built this one actually during a live stream not long ago which is something I like to do in the videos, but we'll take a quick look at, you know, the different features and things like that that it has. The only complaint I have about this truck is the sound. The sound is a little, I always say, um, cheesy. It's, 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 I don't want to say low quality, but it's, uh, it's a little noisy. And uh, some people were complaining about the sound, like, in my live stream. I don't think it's that bad. I just don't think it's as good as, like, the Pete or the Volvo or something like the other mods that I've played around with. But uh, we'll hear it here in just a second. And what's up with the Crow Maple Leaf on there? Is that for Canada, eh? I guess it might be. I'm not too sure on that. Not the uh, Kenworth expert here. But um, hopefully we'll be seeing uh, a bunch of these trucks real soon in American Truck Sim. Oh, the horn on this one is by far my favorite. This is definitely uh, got to be my favorite. Love it. <laughs> the actual truck, uh, I guess that's the actual truck horn. I don't, you don't have any air horns, there's nothing going on there. Uh, but we'll go and jump in and take a look at our map and as well as the uh, truck and the accessories and all that sort of thing. Firstly, we'll look at the freight market and where we have to go to get these Christmas presents. This is part of a uh, little, I guess, challenge or mission uh, set that we have for the holidays is to haul Christmas gifts. Again, uh, Santa's sleigh broke down and you've got to haul them the distance from... I believe, I'm not sure where the home office for SCS is, somewhere here in the uh, Czech Republic, um, somewhere from here to the North Pole, whatever that distance is. So you could basically guarantee it's going to take you, well, I've done one from somewhere here in Poland all the way to the UK, and it got me 34%. So you could pretty much imagine it's about three or four trips across Europe here this way. Uh, to get that distance done. I'm a 34%. Uh, this load right here is going to give me probably, just again guessing, somewhere in the 60s. So I'll probably have to do at least one more of these, if not if not two more, to get to 100%. And then you get a, uh, a little uh, a badge or something for your World of Trucks page that says you've completed the, uh, again, the distance from the, the SCS home office to the North Pole. So we uh, will get some miles knocked out with this one. Uh, these actually do pay very well. Um, get about $100 a mile here. We're going to get $70,000. I had The other one that I had, like, like I said, from Poland here to the UK paid uh, one fifteen. However, that was during one of my Red Eye running uh, on the live stream there, the Twitch live stream. Anybody that knows about those knows that uh, we're not always profitable on those runs and uh, ended up a quarter million in the hole on that load. Uh, with damages uh, when I got done so and then uh, not to mention the few hundred thousand we put in a truck repair we won't talk about that right now we're gonna go ahead and set our GPS and then we're gonna jump across the street here and um, have a look at the different options and things you can do with this truck um, 
one of the things that uh, is very nice about this truck, and we'll be funning out here on the way out to, to get our, our, our uh, Christmas presents here, is that this truck is running like 1,020 horsepower. It's ridiculous, and it's like a rocket going down the road. So yes, we could probably aptly name this one the Red Rocket. Sounds are not too bad when you fire it up. Um, I'm going to make sure we turn on all of our... All of our lights here, beacons, we'll turn on all these. You can adjust the mirrors in the seat. I haven't even touched any of that stuff. Uh, actually, I take that back. I think I did. Um, I think I actually did because you are kind of zoomed in quite quite a bit. Oh, I'm already up all the way. I was wondering why it wouldn't move in. Yeah, we're all the way. So that's why it won't move anymore. Makes sense. Um, what else we got here? Oh, Oh, yeah, the back area there. Decent enough detail anyway. And here comes the sounds that I'm not quite so crazy about. I just noticed you don't have a GPS in here. Oh, it's up there. There. I was looking, uh... Okay. Just hit the wall a little bit there. And you guys can see how fast this thing takes off. I mean, you really need to hold on. We're in uh, eighth gear. This is also my first video for Euro Truck using the G27. I finally upgraded. Uh, I'm not using the driving uh, driving force, the uh, driving force, uh, Logitech driving force any longer. Only for farming uh, farming simulator, I use that wheel. Everything else, I'm using. The G27 with the H shifter, which means I have clutch. I've got the clutch now. I've got, uh, you know, I've got to shift the gears with the shifter, the whole nine yards, just like the real deal. So, surely adds a lot of fun to this uh, game. And I've always said, if you're still playing this on mouse and keyboard, you really, really should try to get yourself a wheel, even a cheap one. It adds so much more dimension to the game. All right. Uh, paint shop, you don't have a lot of uh, options. You've got all these uh, basics here. Uh, of course, you can always jump in your custom color, and that's where I gave uh, this red. This rose red just uh, did not look uh, very rosy, so I kind of picked just a, a darker red to go along with our trailer today. Um, I'm going to say no on that. Oh, I guess we got to say yes on that. The service will make sure of $400 of damage. I wonder if that's when I bumped the side of my garage there. Um, <laughs> it's truck, uh, run you up there. Um, let's see, upgrade shop. Far as cabs, you've got the one cab choice. You've got, uh, 6x4, an 8x4, and a 6x6. Um, guess that changed our paint color and whatnot here. I'm running on the, uh, 6x6, uh, chassis. Then you've got, uh, all these different engines, and that's where I'd originally gone down and been, was like, ah, oh, 640 horse. For the cat engine, that's not that much. And then I looked up and said, wait a minute. Look at the power. 1,020 horse out of the Cummins. So that's what I naturally had to choose. And I don't know why. I'm not the expert again on the truck engines, but uh, this one actually costs more. Uh, maybe one day I'll try it out, but, uh, you know, try out some different engines on this one. But the 1,000 here, I had to do it. Had to do it. That is just... It's crazy, and uh, this thing pulls pretty well, but it's really when it's empty. Once you get it loaded, I've noticed it kind of is like the other trucks, but empty, it is just, you got to hold on to that steering wheel for your dear life because it'll throw you right back into the sleeper. Um, over here, you've got uh, different transmissions. Now, it has the 18 speed to overdrive. The reason I'm using the 12 is because of the G27 has six gears, and then I've got a button to switch into the other six. I haven't figured out if there's a way to have another button to switch into another six because that would be perfect in an 18 speed. Maybe it's possible. Haven't discovered it yet. Been running the 12 and uh, that way I've got high and low basically and I've got my 12 full gears. And I usually just leave it in even gears. Start out in two, four, six, eight. Uh, all the way up to 12 uh, works pretty good. Uh, especially with this much power. Then we jump over here to the cab. Again, there's only one kind of cab. Uh, got your little purple uh, coffee mug over there. Uh, colors, we already talked about that. And then pretty much not really a lot you can do on the outside. You can choose 
uh, basically one mirror or two. I don't know why you'd want to fool with that. You've got some tire options. Uh, of course, if you have modded tires and wheels, you're going to have a whole lot more options, but I think those are the ones that came with it. They're um, the American ones. Actually, that came with another mod, I believe they did. Um, and then we have the uh, main mirror. Uh, just put those in chrome. You could basically take this thing off, have a flat top. Uh, then it would do... S oh, uh, well, we'll just do it anyway. I don't think that looks that great. I mean, it's okay, but uh, definitely like the other look a lot better. And that's pretty much about it. So we're going to go ahead and get out of here. Uh, we do not want to change our truck. I like just the way it looks here. So that's kind of what you, what you get there. A little bit of chrome options here and there. Whoa. And it stops... Uh, brakes are about like any other truck, but because this thing just takes off like a bat out of heck. Oh my gosh, pulled out in front of a car. <laughs> We're going to try not to crash this, but uh, for all of, all of uh, you driving Nazis that like to troll on the old videos here on how bad of a driver I am, things of that nature, uh, you may want to skip the next little part of this video because... Uh, I don't really care about the damage so much. I want to try to see how fast I can get this thing going. I really wound it up uh, a few weeks ago during the live stream, but I can't honestly recall what what I had it up to. I want to say it was like 120 or something like that. Maybe it was higher. That's in miles per hour, by the way. Watching the speedometer and the other thing there, almost hit the guardrail. Once we get our load, though, we will uh, go back to uh, safe driving and trying to take it a little bit more easy. Engine braking, I can't recall how it sounds. We'll hit it here once we're off this hill. Shift it and get a little bit of speed. Yeah, that's one of those sounds I was talking about being a little bit cheesy. But overall as a mod, I mean, I ran it that one day. Whoop, missed my gear. And uh, I was really happy with it. I mean, it was, it was really a, it's a great mod. I still like the Pete better. And uh, the Volvo that I messed around with a time or two ago, that thing is really slick still have both those trucks and they all three still work with um with the 1.15 patch i guess we've got different trailers and stuff that they put in here i know that they they gave us a freebie uh a a, 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 ro a road roller one of those big roller deals uh they gave us as an extra for the high value cargo dlc um i haven't gotten one of those I was running a bunch of Jazzy Cat mods up until 1.15, they're all broken now, so I took them all out, threw them away, they were getting outdated anyway, and uh, I'll be waiting uh, another another week or two, till probably maybe by the time this video is even up, they will have the um, updated Jazzy Cat pack for the military and the railroad, and then we'll, we'll uh, check those out again. The ones I was running were from, like, July or September. They were outdated. And they worked all the way up till 1.5 when they added these uh, tandem, or uh, these, these doubles, I call them, the, 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 the trailers with two, two trailers, pulling two trailers. I am not even putting my foot on the gas right now. I, I'm barely feathering the throttle, and we're going uh, 75. I'm trying to get myself away from Berlin so that when we crash, and, and that's not if, but that's a win, that is inevitable, uh, we can we can tow ourselves to a garage, uh, not Berlin. I remember the first day I got this truck, I headed out to Poland, and we crashed somewhere right in here and ended up putting me back in Berlin, and I had to do this whole stretch over. 
So we're going to kind of feather the throttle. And I'm literally doing just that. I'm feathering the throttle only. Barely, barely touching the gas pedal. Now we'll put her to the put her to the boards and open it up a little bit across this bridge. Oh my goodness. I think this is not a toll. Holy crap. Oh my goodness. Holy cow, here we come up to the Okay, take definitely takes engine braking and all 100% of your regular brakes with the retarder and everything to slow this truck down. When you, as far as your rendering distance, when those toll booths render in and you're going full speed with this truck, you have got to downshift, engine brake, regular brake, the whole everything, everything you've got to slow down. And if you're pulling a heavy load. You may not stop in time. I hit many, many toll gates. We're in 10th. Off to 12th already. Almost uh, feels unrealistic, but I wouldn't know. I've never driven a 1,020 horsepower semi down the road. That little brake sound, uh, the air, is a little bit annoying too, after a while. 118, yeah, I, I thought I hit 120 the other day, so we'll, we'll be hitting that here in a second, probably right when we about crash. At 120. Just ridiculous. Oh my god. Hopefully when we crash here, if I can try to avoid it, I will, but hopefully we're far enough from, from Berlin that it'll put us in the next city. Oh! Yeah, needless to say, this truck has been very uh, deadly for my red-eye runs. Um, the viewers sure get a kick out of it, but uh, it's been a little bit of a headache for me because that, that need for speed that I have. And uh, we, uh, we don't make it there in one piece. We'll just, uh, we'll just say, leave it at that. Okay, and there's another one. Engine brake like crazy. Barely going to get her stopped. Another thing people like to get on you about is, uh, oh my god, you redline it, you redline it, you redline it. This truck here, you can't help it. You touch the gas, it redlines. Especially in, uh, you know, one through eight. And um, a reason I redlined it a lot in my other, other videos is because I was not using, I had no clutch. I was using a steering wheel, but I was using the mouse buttons, thumb buttons on my mouse to upshift and downshift all those videos. The first three videos I was using automatic, but after that it was, uh... I was making sure I was not supposed to get off somewhere along here. After that, I was, uh, videos 4 through 11, I was using the driving force steering wheel, uh, and I had it in a sequential, or however you say that. Or it was shifting manual, but there was no clutch. Be careful! I don't hit my hit my sides there. All right, we're gonna start off in six. How about that? It just goes right to red line. I kind of feel like this thing belongs in the crew more than the uh, Euro truck. <laughs> See if we can have a little outside look.
Can't do it for long though, or I'll end up eating a guardrail up here. Sure is nice to cover the ground quick though. Kind of funny when you watch the clock because, uh, wow, that was close. You watch the clock there and the, the clock basically, kind of funny because it, 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 uh, the faster you go, the faster your clock goes, I think. They kind of figure from Berlin to wherever at 55 is going to take you X amount of time to drive. 55 being miles an hour. And, uh, when you're going more than double that speed, uh, your clock just goes, goes quick. Probably should keep my eyes on the road here and not the, not the clock though, right? It's white knuckle driving. I see all those vultures flying around in the air. I think they're waiting for our carcass after we crash. Yeah, we've got some traffic. Not actually a bad road. If they took these tolls out, it'd almost be like a nice raceway. The roads over in Germany are very uh, twisty. In Poland, they're not uh, not that way so much. But you got these darn toll roads, toll booths that sneak up on you. Fifty mile an hour speed limit. Uh, yeah, fifty mile an hour. Yeah, that's miles an hour. We're uh, going way over that. And another toll coming up here. Like the idling sounds I think are pretty good. Those sound, sound decent. Let's start off in 8 this time. Next time I think we'll just go ahead and start off in 12. Mirrors are a little bit on the small side, but get the job done. Whoops. That stuff's pretty good there. I should try not using the engine braking once and we'll see. I did that plenty, uh during that, that night of that live stream and it really was ugly. Alright. This is the one time I, sh I got a shift out into 11. 12 was too, too high. Now we're in the odd gears. Be nice to get some weight on the back of this thing, that's for sure. Alright, we're going to take a left over here because I want to fix my truck. Um, you know, get it up to 100... Whoop! Missed my gear. 100% here before we start. Since I did rub up against that wall a little bit. Alright, let's see what our damages were. Rubbing the wall costed me about 1400 Not too bad. It's a good thing I've got 20 employees to help cover some of the costs. I actually had to fire a driver too. Uh, going to my company manager, I had to let a let a driver go. Um, oh, I can't remember. A couple days ago, I was in here because uh, uh, somehow or another, I was looking at basically how much profit per day I was getting off of each one, and there was one of them that was like 
like pennies. Actually, I got it backwards here. Oh, don't look at me here. Don't look at me. That's embarrassing. <laughs> uh, this this guy here. Oh, that's right. I had to unsave uh, what I did. Okay, well, no, you guys are going to see it. For some reason, this guy is just not making any money at all. So I fired him, but I forgot I had to jump back a save because of the patch, and uh, my other save uh, uh, wasn't spawning trailers and whatnot. So everybody else, I mean, the, the next guy up here is, uh, you know, making 10 and 13 and all the way up to the top guy at 35. Oh, geez, don't look at mine again. That's embarrassing. Uh, those red eye run-ins, uh, yeah, folks, I kind of have a problem there. Uh, <laughs> don't uh, don't mix speed and um, and texting and alcohol with your uh, driving. It's uh, very bad results. But um, we're gonna go ahead and cut this guy. We're gonna fire his butt. I don't know what he's been doing uh, besides not making me money. And uh, we'll go to the recruitment agency here, and we're gonna hire a driver. Uh, Oh, this guy here, I don't know. He kind of looks frightening, but uh, he's the highest up that we got right now. He's asking for 20. Um, everybody else is lower, and I want to get some good drivers because we can afford them. So we got to put him in Milano. We should have an empty truck. And uh, we got him hired. Should be good to go. Hopefully... Uh, That'll start making me money, but if we go back into now our garage manager, you'll see Berlin is a loss at the money, but it's because I've got all these trucks here too that, uh, that you know, this is like my personal parking uh, garage. I keep my, my five uh, favorite trucks, um, and I'm probably going to ship the MEN out since I don't use it. I'm just going to give it to a driver, and uh, that way I'll get that one out of my garage, and yet it'll still be here. I'll still have it. Because I've got some other modded trucks I want to put in. There's the old Pete. Absolutely love that one. And the Volvo is so slick. Just love that truck too. Um, London here. It's making me fairly decent. I'm running uh, a bunch of uh, DAF uh, trucks out there. DAF. Uh, Milano. We're running all these Ivecos. And the funny thing is. This guy here right now is making me like the most uh, money. That's the Iveco from driver log five that pulled the huge uh, 54 ton tank through the swiss alps and ended up taking me three and a half hours so it's kind of funny to see that little iveco and how it's doing how many miles does it have on it now i guess the truck itself maybe fifteen thousand miles i'm not really sure uh maybe it's that's how much he's driven but um but yeah that's uh Go back to Garage Manager. That's how uh, Milano's doing. I'm running all the Ivecos. And then Paris, I've got... Uh, well, I've shipped down some of the trucks. This is actually the brand new uh, DAF, the DAF, that just came out. The Euro 6. I thought about running that one today and reskinning it with the Christmas skins. Um, but actually, we should take a look at those as well. I want to show you guys... Since that's right around the corner, these are the holidays from last year. Um, the ones that have, are out now that I got for free for accomplishments on World of Trucks, uh, and everybody else can buy these, but uh, is this nice little ribbon. Um, oh, that's the gift time. This is a magic ribbon. Not too bad. This is one of my favorite, the Night of Wonders. It looks just like a Terry Redland painting. And there's a matching trailer with this if you find it. And uh, that absolutely... I want to do that during one of my live streams I'm going to. But Merry Christmas. Yeah, it really looks great. Like, you just want to stare into that. Uh, and then you've got the Santa Trucker. This is the one they made me do. Uh, absolutely love that one, too. Love the uh, belly button tattoo there. Uh, with the SCS logo. It's very classy. It's got the reindeer, all the tats, and the big belly. Uh, I love the reindeer on the front here. Looks like a deer in the headlights. And got some stockings in the back. We've got uh, kind of a weird Christmas, dead Christmas tree thing with uh, car fresheners on it. Very classy. And it says Merry Christmas or Xmas. And if you actually have the, uh, don't have the skirts on, like on my Scania, uh, you'll actually have like a picture of a reindeer. Like Looks like it's been hit flying away. Santa's bag. Love that one too. Love that one too. Uh, it's alright, you know, it's got Santa on it. 
guess it's not not one of my top faves, but uh, it's got kind of a metallic and the, the snowflakes and or stars or yeah stars on there, stars and whatnot. So that's uh, that one, and then the Christmas spirit, just some uh, nice balls on your uh, side of your truck there, holiday balls. That's how what's going on over in that garage, and um, and then our last garage here, if I get into the right place, is our Zurich uh, garage, and we've got a bunch of trucks down there, and it's making me all kinds of money. So that's just a little update of what's going on around around here. Unfortunately, I don't. Now that I'm leveled up all the way and have everything unlocked and all that sort of thing, I don't have a lot of of things left on my plate I want to do. There's, there's achievements in the game now that I, I should get to working on, but I kind of come in here now just to really have fun and not take it serious. Never really took it serious, but um, one of the most highly requested things uh, it seems on my Twitch live streams is to do the Red Eye Running. Um, that's where we play the music a little bit too loud. Uh, consume a little bit too many beverages and uh, you know text and drive it's just it's a it's a recipe for disaster but uh, people find it uh, funny and entertaining and not to mention it's just a lot of fun sometimes the music is so loud you can't even hear the truck and I almost uh, ran a red light thank you very much couldn't stop I think nobody was behind me but uh, it's just a really fun time to just hang out, watch a little gameplay, have some commentary, laugh, and just really listen to some good music. We do heavy metal, we do uh, house music, uh, country drinking music, I mean, kind of switch it up to a few different playlists on my Spotify. And if you've never checked those out, you really probably uh, might want to get around to it one time. Make a point. I usually run them after midnight, and uh, because of the uh, content is not necessarily kid friendly, so we usually run them after about midnight my time. Just put on a nice show for the adults, and uh, they're a lot of fun. Can't see the light, so it's kind of waiting for the AI. <laughs> but. That's why we're in the hole a little bit as far as our garage goes and not to mention like I said I've got several trucks sitting there that aren't working. Oh what a nice gent that guy is. Oh, better stop here at the front door and uh, get our... here's a helicopter. I've never actually hauled one of those but that's part of the that DLC pack too. So we're going to take this job and start hauling. When you turn your camera on this one, you'll end up going all the way around, which is a little bit annoying, but... Alright, let's hook up. I'm going to go back into my even gears. Let's just have a look at this trailer real quick. I'll pull it out here, we can see it. Oh wow, I did pretty good on the paint color, didn't I? I never actually hauled one of this color. I've only hauled the one, I think it was a different color. But um, this would go good with the holiday balls on the side of the truck, but now we've got balls all over the side of our trailer, and uh, that's all right. So basically, uh, we're gonna do it with a Kenworth today. Okay, here we go. Like I said, this truck does tend to act a lot differently with weight on it. I think I had used it the first time to tow a 68 ton uh, train locomotive. And uh, it really didn't do better or go faster than the Pete or the, the other uh, modded Volvo that I have or maybe even a uh, one of the vanilla trucks which is fine I, I don't know if I'd want it to be taken off like a rocket with that kind of weight on the back I have a feeling with this load seeing uh 
what do we add here? 21 ton that we may get different results. I've only ran this truck on that one load. So I don't know. Oh, oh boy, that's just, that really stinks. They should put the triggers out to like uh, another 20, 30, 40 feet out there because what I just did there, I mean, come on. <laughs> My front tire. Let's just check. Let's just check. Okay, come on. That's not that bad. <laughs> Cut me a little slack. What's going on with my lights here? Oh, they are blinking. Lots of, lots of air to let out. This truck is very gassy, I guess. Yeah, 10th here, we were taking off like like crazy with before, and now um, it really feels like there's a little weight. We just ran a red light. There's no way I'm going to stop for that. Couldn't see it until I was coming up to it. Everything is so bright. That's what I have to tell the officer when we get pulled over. Sorry, but my graphics didn't render the color in properly. I'm going to try that. Uh, I've got a spotless driving record in real life. I've actually only ever gotten uh, one... Oh, actually, I take that back. I take that back. I've gotten two speeding tickets in my life when I was very young. And uh, one was for going uh, 17 over, but they marked it down to 12 over. Took five off. And the other one I was going uh, nine miles an hour over. Nine miles an hour over the speed limit, and I got freaking hammered by a Tennessee State Trooper. And it was probably the last time I ever drove fast. It was in 2006. No, nine miles over is not fast, but I was going about 110 with our Cobalt uh, Super Sport that we had for about, a, I had it about five, six days, not even a week. And I was going about one something, 110, I don't know, it was just on the way to work I was running a little bit late down an interstate that didn't have a lot of traffic and um, I got this feeling like wow I, I do not need to get a ticket you know just got this car the insurance is a little bit higher you know that's the last thing I needed a ticket so I better slow down so I slowed way down well what I thought was way down I was still going nine miles over I was doing uh, doing nearly 80. I think it was like 70. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh no. I hope that didn't damage the trailer. Wrong button. Oh, that was... That's that's the brakes there for you. That's the brakes there for you. Uh-oh. And you don't really hear the brakes either. Let's try to back up. We're literally, literally stuck here. I'm not sure on what. What did I do? Kill it now? Wait, what, what's going on? Now the damn gate's down. Uh-oh. No, oh, it's not down. It's still up. Oh, come on, what are we running into? Why well, don't damage the trailer? I don't care about the truck. But yeah, as soon as I slow down, uh, cop, cop were coming the other direction. Thank you for running me off the road. Um, had, uh, had lasered me and pulled me over. And all I could think was, yeah, it really sucks. I'm, I can't believe I'm getting a ticket for 9 over. Going 79 in that 80. But... At least I'm not getting a ticket for going, like, 30 or 40 over. Live and learn. After that, I was uh, done getting speeding tickets. And that was nearly 10 years ago.
So a lot of people have been asking me, where have you been? Where's the videos? Uh, everybody's asking me about farming simulator. Where's the farming chore logs? Gunnan, are you not doing farming? We are doing farming, but um, one thing I'm a stickler about is having my content, my videos look or feel the same as anyone else's. Uh, you're always going to get a little bit of that because you're still playing the same game at the end of the day. But uh, right after farming came out, I did the uh, big 24 hour live stream. We had a first look video, the whole nine yards. And I have spent the last, well, there's been six weeks now. Two weeks of that was shot in the rear because I was uh, doing re redoing my 30 odd six, getting it ready for deer hunting season and uh, helping my dad with some projects for deer hunting. And then we had the actual deer hunting season that I was out in the north woods of Wisconsin. And so I was basically out for two weeks, uh, which really killed me, really threw off my schedule. But uh, the other four weeks, the other month, has been nothing but editing uh, the maps, trying to get the servers up and going. We've got three servers now, one's public. Um, and we've also been working on vehicle mods. We've been carrying mods over and uh, a couple of buddies over there in our community have been uh, working on making some custom vehicles. I've got a custom truck uh, that you guys will see. And it has been just a ton of work. We've, we've spent hundreds of hours on all these projects. And it's it's been mind boggling. It has been it's been crazy how much work. And then sorting out bugs. Uh, the the 1.2 patch came out for Farming Sim uh, a week ago and threw everything out of whack. We were getting game crashes. We still are. We're trying to sort through the mods to figure out which which ones are causing problems. Uh, trying to fix the errors. Uh, you know, go through an error check. And, and it, it's just been a ton of work. And so that's why there hasn't been any farming. Uh, as you guys know, or maybe some of you don't, YouTube and Twitch are my full-time job now. They've been uh, for the past several months, and yet I've been so busy on those that I have not been able to get a single video created for YouTube. Um, and uh, I kind of fell into a little rut, I felt like, but yet all I could do was keep uh, keep pushing forward and, and, and getting those projects done. Well, I can tell you that the... Uh, the server now that we're going to run our chore logs in is a private server. All of my chore logs will be done from a multiplayer environment uh, on a farm that runs 24-7, even when we're not there. So it'll go for the next two years. Um, and on top of that, we're running it in hard, we run the crops in slow, and we run it with withering turned on. So. It takes several days for the crops to be done, and uh, it, it, it's, it's very challenging. Uh, it's, a, it's the way I want to do farming. I want to do it the most challenging way possible. But it's taken me this long to get that set up. But it is up and it is going. And I will be, uh, after this video, getting the chore log number one up onto YouTube. So, if you could do me a really special favor, and please don't ask in the comments where farming chore log is because that, that's what people keep doing and uh, I, I've been responding on every video and people still ask they'll ask right underneath my comment where is it like, like seriously you gotta read you know uh, <laughs> they're coming but I definitely appreciate everybody's enthusiasm over those videos if it wasn't for for all the fanboys and fangirls and fan men and women uh, you know I wouldn't have what I've got with this channel, and I, I, I don't uh, I, uh, I don't want to mess that up. I, I'm very appreciative, and and uh, if you've been watching, we've been doing a crap ton of farming on the Twitch. So, um, and people have been asking on YouTube where have I been? Apparently, they don't use Twitch because uh, I'm on Twitch three to four days a week for I, I live stream between 15 and 20 hours a week. I mean, I'm 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 practically I feel like I'm living in Twitch. And uh, I'm doing that because this is a busy time of year for Twitch. And so I'm trying to really build that up and get partnered. If you haven't followed me on Twitch, maybe you don't even have an account, create an account with Twitch and follow me on there. It would help me out big time. I'm, I'm getting really close to partnership with them. And it would mean the world to me 
to to get that. It would really help me out a lot too. Um, it would make our live streams a lot better. So definitely follow me over on Twitch if you haven't done so al already. But uh, like I said, we've been dishing out tons and tons of game content. Oh my God! What the hell? Oh, but it hurt hurt the trailer. Oh man. Whoops, just can't see my mirrors on this one the same. I hit a curb. Oh wow. Missed my gear. Alright, so. Put our uh, signal deal on. Definitely can't see that mirror over there. I could run them ones on the screen, but I just don't really. Don't really care to do that, to be honest with you. Do one of these deals here. It's, it's handy though. Kind of almost need to with this truck. I don't know. Never, never been a big fan because I like it to look realistic as as possible. Ooh. Turn off the crap on the screen. I keep the GPS extra GPS up there because a lot of times I miss my turns. Get to yakking. Oh, that is handy. <laughs> But yeah, we, uh, we've been looking at a lot of different games lately. And, uh, I mean, besides the Euro Truck and all the farming and all the hunting that we've been doing over on Twitch. Oh, I was going to stop for gas, but then I remembered these brakes don't, uh, don't slow me down all that well. I switched down into 11. Yeah, truck handles a lot better with uh, weight on it. Funny how much it affects it. It's climbing, it's trying to climb. Whoop. There we go. So yeah, we've been doing some survival games. I, uh, Hunter Primal just came out. Been looking at that lately. That looks like a phenomenal, uh, it's kind of weird when you kill the sound. That Hunter Primal looks like it's going to be a phenomenal game. I'm really excited about that. The crew has come out. The crew was a little bit of a disaster for, for me. I tried to live stream it and I did. And, um, it had a lot of bugs when it came out. It was a good game. Uh, it is a good game. It's a great game, but it uh, there was a few things buggered about it that kind of drove me nuts. Made it hard to live stream. Um, I think it crashed a few times. Kind of got those things sorted out, and and now here it has been two weeks since the game released. Still don't have any videos up of it yet. Don't even know how I'm gonna go about it because it's kind of a hard, kind of a hard game to be doing. A lot of videos of but yet again it's not I mean it's just racing go in there and have fun with friends and so I want to bring some of those vi videos forward I I did a first look uh, live stream which I was gonna put to YouTube and uh, that thing had uh, so much frustration with uh, some of the bugs that I ended up not uh, not not putting that on YouTube because I didn't want anything negative being put on the YouTube I try to keep my negativity off of YouTube the best that I can, and um, I, I, I also kind of uh, try to keep it off as far as comments go. I mean, it uh, blows my mind away how rude some people can be to s put a comment, hey, F you. <laughs> really. So I want, I want the, this to be a positive place, and uh, I didn't have some... 100% positivity that night, so I kind of decided we'll just uh, we'll omit that one. We'll leave that one out, and I'll try again later. Well, then I tried again a few days later, and there was some more bugs, and it made the game look kind of bad. And uh, I was, you know, a lot of those things where it was having conflicts with programs I run the live stream, and uh, it wasn't 100% the game's fault. Yet other games don't do it, but. I just, you know, never end up getting any of the crew put up. But I've been enjoying that game when I have a little bit of time, which I haven't had a lot of. I haven't played it in uh, nearly two weeks now, a week and a half. Um, 
but we'll be diving into that one. We'll see some videos up on YouTube. But uh, after this one, I've got to get another hunter and a farming. The Chorlog one is the next video up, and that should be hopefully not too many days behind this one. And then we'll have uh, a hunter. I don't know if I'm going to do any hunting primal videos. I think I might live stream it and then carry those over um, like I did the first look. Because it is in early access right now and there's not a lot of content there. But yet it's a great game and, it, and they're going to be building it over the next several months. And once the game is out of early access and it's actually, you know, a game like it's released, then they'll start the videos. Uh, you know, the, the logs or whatever we want to call them. Okay, I didn't have a car in that lane. We're really flying now. But yeah, we'll start. We'll start the whole the Hunter Primal series, and we'll still be doing the Hunter. Um, it's been crazy. I haven't gotten a video of that one out in a while. They've released a few weapons, which I again live streamed and threw those over on there. Um, it's just so much easier for me to because during the live streams people want to see that stuff and it's so easy just to send that stuff over to Twitch Which I feel bad about sometimes because there's nothing better than an actual, you know, pre-recorded video Keep on trucking up this hill Steering wheels, the force feedback is fighting me a little bit Check our mirror here, will it good? Go back to 11th here. Um, but uh, yeah, it's just easier to get Twitch videos uploaded. Uh, because it takes only a few minutes. After live streaming, I just hit a button and the video goes from Twitch to Google and it's so quick and... You know, unfortunately I can't edit anything and the quality's not as high, but sometimes people like to see the actual live the thing, you know, I can't, that's another thing, you can't edit out the mistakes and stupid things that I do and uh, things I say and <laughs> so you get to see the real, the real deal, no edits and uh, you get to see my ugly mug in the bottom of the screen too when I do them, so it's, uh, it's a good time, good time have a lot of fun over on Twitch, highly encourage people to get over there I got people that stop in on Twitch all the time and say Wow, I've never been on a live stream before. This is my first time. I just I'm new to Twitch. Sometimes they come in with the name Gunning Gamers, this, that, and the other, which I kind of frown upon. Try to get people to come up with something original of their own, but we just don't want to confuse people into thinking that you're me or vice versa. But um, holy cow. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, it's still it's fun. It's a good time. I love it when new people never been on Twitch come over and and they're like they're god drop like wow this is so crazy. I get to see you live and uh, playing the game and got some some music. We usually do some real good country music during our our farming and it's it's a big hit. It's a really big hit. I hear about it all the time and it, it makes me happy. So I love doing it and. Aiden joins us and I put him on camera. Oh my goodness. It's almost like since this rain... Since this rain came, we're uh, a, little bit, a little bit sliding around here. There's my avoid sleeping offense. Oh. Try 11th again here. Hopefully we get a sleepy place uh, coming up. It probably was a bad idea that I didn't try a little harder to stop back there when I had a chance, but I just don't want to doze off and crash the truck. That would make me very sad. It's a little hard to go from those even the odds. I have to actually push a button. I have to clutch in, push a button, uh, shift the shifter. <laughs> Oh, come on. Oh my gosh, I almost went to reverse. Oh. 
I don't have my foot all over the floor here. Kind of holding it about halfway. Yeah, we're getting tickets. We're going to end up dozing off. That's what I'm a little bit worried about. Hopefully something comes up here soon. Oh, we do have a sleepy time coming. And a fuel. Okay, this is good. So that means we're going to doze off right before we pull up there. Murphy's Law. Try to get some fuel. Then we'll pull up to the other side there and fill her up. I should have filled up at my home garage in Berlin. I could have saved a few bucks, but uh, that, that never really concerns me. Save a 20 or 30 or 100 or whatever it is in here. Um, when, when, you know, when you fill up at your home office there, and then you go and bump a guardrail and do a thousand dollars of damage, so. <laughs> Alright, we're full. See if we can go to sleep here without unhooking. Yep. Alright. Kind of funny when you shift. When the truck is off, makes those noises. Like I said, the sound could definitely be worked on a little bit. It's not 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 perfect, but gets the job done, I guess. We'll see what this truck looks like at night. Not too flashy. Got enough lights on it though. My hands off the mouse and back on the shifter here so we don't redline it. Oh man, that, uh air discharge thing is kind of driving me nuts a little bit. I'm not sure why it keeps doing that. Oh, red lining. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Was I really going that fast? I think I was doing in the 70s there. Definitely got to slow it down. Even here it feels... I think it's definitely... This truck is a little bit tippier. It just seems to coast and... And, uh... I don't know. It's hard to, hard to tell, though, because you are talking about a lot more speed, usually. Some of those Euro trucks, you know, right now we'd probably be foot to the floor and going 50 or 60, you know, and of course they do get up a lot faster, but they take a little while longer, maybe, and so you're, you're usually, your average speed with a truck like this is probably a lot higher, and, and then it seems like you're more tippy or, you know, brakes are not as good, well, it's because your average speed is so much higher. Might, might be the reason. We're just going to try to make all these corners here, and boy, it just feels like I'm about to flip. Another thing I think is funny is when people get on me about the uh, having my brights on in a virtual game. You're, you're blinding all the other drivers. Get, get some of those comments sometimes really cracks me up because uh, I mean uh, I don't know if the virtual AI really get a, that affected by my bright lights I know one thing I like to have them on because it gives me a chance to see a little farther down the road and and have a chance at uh, you know making these corners and not running into stuff and those sort of things so 
Right now, though, with all these lights in the road, it almost seems to make everything turn a little too white. We'll put them in dim, but... A lot of, a lot of folks are concerned, heavily concerned about the uh, AI drivers in here and, and their safety, and they get really, really bent up about my, my driving fast. <laughs> I'm just pushing it a little bit hard right now because these roads are empty, but... If I didn't use all three of those lanes in those corners back there, we would have flipped. I can guarantee you that. Um, we were very close to tipping. And that's going 70, so... I think with the other trucks, I would not... not be having that. I know that Volvo would not. I could make those corners with a 21-ton load not flip going 70. This thing here is no way I had to I had to let it go across those lanes. Kinda nice to knock some miles out in the dark though. Whoop, oh, knocked my shifter out too while I was at it. Trying to turn my lights up to bright. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. I guess we're gonna have to set even brakes a little bit. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Yeah. I'm gonna say for the record, this one, uh... Maybe doesn't handle as good as the Peter, the, uh, the Volvo, the modded one that I got there. I don't know. Now we're gonna push it again here. A little straight away. It's hard to remember back in the day, a couple years ago when the game came out and uh, driving around in here with it stuck at 55 mile an hour, uh, that was painful. I can't even imagine doing that. It didn't take me very long. I think I played it that way for about two months. And then I quickly uh, went out and got the uh, no speed limit mod. Because back in those days we didn't have a, a checkbox to turn off the speed limiter. so. That mod turned it off, and we were able to finally open it up and see what those trucks would do. And then the game kind of got to be a whole lot better. And uh, and then, of course, uh, maybe it was patch... Oh, 1.8, I think, maybe? I can't remember now. They added that feature into the game, the checkbox, where you could turn it off or turn it on. And honestly, uh, when I go to do those five runs worth no damage, you can't have any damage at all. Uh, I'm going to do them with uh, probably my Scania, the Vanilla, or Vanilla Volvo. One of those two trucks or something like that. And uh, and then lock it at 55. I'll lock it, you know, I'll put the, the speed limiter on. And just hold it to the floor and drive and, you know, haul light loads. You want to probably haul things that are under, you know, 16, 15, 16 ton, you know, haul the small, haul the vegetables, haul some light ones, keep your speed down to 55, and, uh, don't, you know, don't get too carried away, you got plenty of braking power with the lighter load, and I just haven't gotten around to doing those missions yet. Obviously this one won't be counting towards it at all. we got a few hundred miles to go, a few hundred more miles that we'll be putting towards our uh, Christmas package delivery achievement. Good old achievement. I'm probably about 50% of the way there right now uh, on that achievement. I was at 34% with one run before I started this video. When we get done today, I should be in the 60-something percent. Maybe 70 if I'm lucky, you know, get up as high as 70. But uh, I'll have to come in here and pick one more, maybe two. If you haven't created your uh, page yet in World of Trucks, you probably definitely want to do that. Uh-oh, we're pushing it again. Um, because the, 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 
the page is free. And, uh, like I said, I got those Christmas skins for free by just following a few simple things I had to do, which I think I actually had done already, uh, with the World of Trucks. And, uh, they gave them out free. Everybody else can buy them. They're probably only a dollar or two or a couple bucks. But, uh, hey, free is always nice, and, uh, you can, you know, keep all your screenshots in there, and... Uh, upload, you know, your screenshots from the game and design your license plate. That's how... can't really show it here, but... Push in a corner. That's how we got the uh, Gun and Gamer plate on the bottom there. Was, uh, you design it in there. Um, it's kind of cool, you can pick a European country. I just chose uh, Germany since that's where my headquarters is, and um, big, big fan of Germany. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's it's kind of interesting. I can't wait till American truck comes out because it makes me wonder: are they going to have all 50 states? Uh, not in the game. I know they said California at first, and then they're going to expand, but. Are they going to have license plates from all 50 states? Because that'd be kind of cool. I'd, I'd like that. But uh, maybe they'll just have uh, California or something, you know. Either way, it'll be alright. Make me a license plate over there, too. It makes me wonder what what's going to happen to the Euro truck uh, when that game comes out. Is this game going to be relevant still? I mean... Uh, it's got a, a, a good modding community. Switch my gear into 11 there, pushing buttons. Um, you know, uh, what, uh, what, will people move on to American Truck and start modding over there, making multiplayer, or, you know, how will all that go down? I mean, we don't, we don't really know, I guess, but... Oh, too, too, too low there. We also need to go left here. It sounds like I'm idling, I'm, I'm really not. I'm just on the throttle about a third only. I'm definitely not in too low of a gear. I mean, 10 is, uh... Well, we are going 35 miles an hour. But maybe I can pass this guy. Uh-oh. Coming up to a corner here. Oh, boy. We don't need a wreck. That'd be embarrassing. Off on the little highway and all these slow drivers. Uh-oh. Now we got a bus full of children up here. We have to be extra careful. Think we could scoot by them, maybe. Oh my god, there's a semi coming. This is dangerous. Thank you for stopping. Sorry about that. Apologize. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have to... Slow her down just a bit on this road, I can tell. Oh, good, we got a turn. Uh oh, another car. Hopefully, we don't have too gosh darn many highways to drive on. Let's just check our map. Oh, we're almost there. We're almost there. We're coming in to Brussels. I'm not sure why. Okay. Yeah, another way would have been to go this way around. I probably would have chose that. I wish we could create our own routes, like drag and, you know, our route, because I would have definitely said, hey, uh, this ain't going to happen. I don't want to do these little twisty highway. I stay on the main road and I would think um, get there a lot quicker, at least in real life time. That's something I think that they really should add into the game, though, is letting us choose our own route, which at one time I thought was possible, but... I've never figured it out. 
uh, lately, so... See if we can keep it on all wheels here. Oh my goodness. Looks like we've got a little bit of a traffic stand still up here. Oh, that's why I hate being on these highways at uh, well, it's six o'clock in the morning. All the rush hour. I don't know if we can do any passing here. I mean, this is definitely not uh, something we want to want to brag about. Well, now it's passing. Very, uh, very illegal. Holy crap! Oh no, we crashed into a vehicle. <laughs> oh man, that hurts. Still one percent damage. We we were getting a little irresponsible there, folks. Just getting impatient. Oh, this is not good. We got a log truck up here too. There's a little little sneak peek of some red eye there. <laughs> it's okay to push it a little bit once in a while. Have a few little little fender benders. They'll buff right out and uh, adds a little bit of entertainment, right? Just so just a little bit. There's just too much traffic to try to pass right now. We're going to try it again. Oh my goodness. Oh, don't hit the brakes. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Why is he stopped? Why is this guy stopped? Oh my god, I just got trolled so bad. Oh. What a freaking butthead. What is his deal? I think uh, I think these two guys here on the, and both of these trucks are together. I think they're on the CD and they, they did that. They planned that. Because I just ate a load of logs with my Kenworth here. Unbelievable. Let's keep that damage under 10% though. I'll be happy. That was crazy. Why why that guy did that? Now I really want to pass him because he's like the last thing in my way to an open road. Getting a little road rage starting. Oh, he's getting on the brakes again. This guy. All right, I'm gonna break the law between two countries. That way, the police won't know what to do. All right. Apparently, our truck is very gassy again. That was definitely interesting. I like the roads here. Really pretty. I wonder why they're red on the side. Are they brick? Did they put some cobblestone or something? Or did they just paint them red? Like, that's red, stay out of there. I've seen that before driving through here and I've always wondered. Never stopped to look. I think we're only about halfway done with this highway. There's the vultures again. I think they're up there waiting for us to crash. Well, we'll just keep pushing it. As hard as we can. Oh my goodness. 
I don't know about this bus though. Oh, we don't have any momentum. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Hit it. Those don't do damage. <laughs> Wasn't watching my GPS, but we can't go that way anyway. Yeah, I forget what patch that was. 1.5 or something. They uh, done away with that. When you hit those things, it causes damage. They used to. Anybody remembers back, they used to do a whole lot of damage. You'd smack those things and uh, you were done for. It's actually uh, got a little event I gotta go to here shortly, and so I'm kind of starting to push it a little bit harder. It's Aiden's uh, birthday today, so we gotta go to his birthday party uh, celebration tonight, and I thought, well, let me just try to. Let me try to bust out a video here before I take off to get things rolling again here on the old YouTube. And we're so close. We're only 73 more miles. 73 more miles. And we're home free. Home free. Well, we got a bus in our way. We're going to sack them now. We're going to sack them, folks. Hold on to your uh, handlebars over there. We, have, we don't have any handlebars on this one. Okay. Now everybody's slowing down again. I'm going to break the, the uh, laws between two countries here so the police won't know what to do. We're probably felon in the last two countries. So check my mirror the best. I can't really see anything on that mirror, but oh man, the opportunities of passing are endless. Uh oh, oh no, on a blind corner. <laughs> Oh, it's just too tempting. It's just too tempting. It'd be nice with the uh, whole Christmas time thing. I said this last year. If we actually had uh, Christmas time uh, snow, you know, it actually looked like Christmas in here. Oh my goodness. I, I'm trying to stop. It looked like there was a car up ahead, but that was actually uh, not. Try this again. Getting a little bit of heart pumping action here. All right, 39 more miles to go, and we are rolling into town with our Kenworth T660. JK edition. JK I think is something, I, I'm not really sure. I don't remember if that was from the modder, person that modded it, and I'll give a link in the description folks. Um, to be honest, the description that I used, the, the, the description, the link that I used originally, for some reason did not exist anymore, so uh, I went out and tried to find the mod uh, again, and I did find it, the exact same one, it says the Kenworth T660 JK Edition. Um, but, I know that when I tried to download again from that one, just to make sure it was working and everything, that it tried to throw a bunch of nasties on the computer here, so, uh, I can't say it enough, beware, this game is a great game, the modding community is full of hardworking uh, people that make great mods, but uh, there is definitely some uh, some dirty websites to download from that will throw viruses and crap at you. It is a really hard game to mod and you got to be really, really careful. The modding community is great, the mod sites are horrendous, uh, especially if you're used to like farming sim. When you can go to FSUK and download all kinds of mods, they're tested, they're never virus, 
Uh, you can go right to the Farming Sim website. I mean, uh, and then you come over on Euro Truck and you're on all kinds of weirdo websites trying to download these mods and you've got all kinds of crap and fake antivirus programs and all kinds of nonsense. And uh, I don't need a lecture on what antivirus to use or how to keep your computer safe. I worked in that business for many years and uh, ran a business cleaning com computers, so I'm fully aware of what programs to use and how to get rid of viruses and things like that. I'm just telling you because a lot of people don't know and uh, I would sure feel bad if somebody uh, hosed their computer because of trying to download a truck mod. So I will throw the link up, the one and only link that I, well not the one and only, but the one link that I found that looked the best. Uh, that's the best I can do. Like I said, where I downloaded this truck, I don't remember off the top of my head, but that link that I had saved back uh, this past summer, the fall, when I when I got this truck originally, um, doesn't exist. It didn't work, so it was a no-go. And uh, that happens quite uh, quite a lot too with the farming mods. I'll put links up with the exact one I use, and uh, a few months later the link will break or it's not working or valid anymore, and then people are, hey, where'd you get it from? It's where I got it from. If it don't exist, don't exist. Nothing I can do. We're gonna try to... I wish I could hear my blinker. Oh, that's kind of rude, moron. Oh my goodness. I tried to slide over and... Oh, I don't want to hit this car. I don't want to hit this car either. Should've been paying attention that I got a turn here. But I wasn't. Oh, come on, red light. Gotta give me a little bit more time than that. Just awaiting. Little mini. Boy, that car has been a lot of fun in the uh, in the crew. We got one of them with the uh, gold edition that we bought, and it is just a blast. I pimped my little mini out. <laughs> oh, no turn signal. Apologize, apologize. We'll get a ticket. Okay, and we're going to pull in and drop our load here. So I gave you a, a little run there of the Kenworth. A little bit of uh, action where we were pushing it, kind of racing, and we unfortunately uh, sideswiped the car, and that was terrible of us, but I think that uh, that driver will hopefully forgive us. Hopefully everybody's okay. But I like to do that. I, I've, I've played this game back in the day before there was no achievements, where I went load after load after load after load after load with no damage, and... You know, doing things the right way, but when you've got as many hours in this game as I do, um, you kind of start getting to where you're, you just like to come in and have fun, you like to push it. Let's see what we ended up getting on this one. We ended up, uh, getting good work, I uh, didn't get an excellent. Uh, ooh, man, they penalized us quite a bit, but we still got 67,355. So put a little bit of money in the bank. We did a little bit of damage to the truck. So we probably walked away with the 60 grand, which is uh, always nice. Uh, level 38, you know, uh, again, none of this is hacked. This, there's people higher than that. I don't know, even know how high it goes, but 50 maybe? I don't know. But uh, I've uh, legitimately earned this, and this isn't my only save that I had. I did, uh, I did uh, have a multiplayer in the multiplayer day, and I had to erase a big chunk of that because... It was all corrupted from multiplayer, and that's why I no longer do multiplayer. Uh, just got really sick and tired of the boringness of driving through such an empty world. Um, but uh, anyway, we did good on that one in our Kenworth. So now we're going to go find a place that we can uh, grab a little sleep. Back to empty load. Looks like uh, looks like I haven't been with this place before. Now we're going to drive like crazy guy again. Getting red light offenses and the whole nine yards. Oh my goodness. I hit that bump coming in there and it ripped the wheel out of my hand. I love that force feedback though. I had it on the old wheel too but I had it turned off just because. And uh, did not mean to drive under a lawn. <laughs> That's okay though. It's good to aerate that soil. We'll make the grass a little greener when it grows back. 
Um, boy, this thing is not that pleasant driving it uh, empty, but it's 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 a good truck. It's a good mod. It's a good Canworth. Yes, I think there's better, but it's definitely worth checking out. Put on our brake. Oh, the little knob doesn't pull out. How do I know if my how do I know if my brake is on then? Besides it telling me when I try to drive, I don't know. Little little knob doesn't activate there, but that is the Kenworth, the beautiful uh, Kenworth. Let's go ahead and shut it down. So we've got the uh, last little look at the outside here. Folks, I want to thank you so much for watching this video. They've been a pleasure to make. I promise we'll be cranking out a bunch of videos uh, here again soon. All of your favorites, farming, simulator, <laughs> and uh, some more Euro Truck. And we'll be looking at some other mods and things like that. Uh, and we will uh, have some good content coming here. But uh, for now, I'm going to be signing off. And uh, we'll be picking up next time somewhere... Gosh, I don't know where. Maybe we'll be back in Berlin with another truck mod, but now we're out in uh, Brussels. So uh, we'll be picking up next time with something. I don't have too many more mods to, that I want to go through, and it seems like the modding on the Euro truck has slowed down a little bit. So we'll see. We'll see what there is. But uh, do uh, make sure that you comment, rate, subscribe. Don't forget to check us out on our Steam community group. I'll have a link for that. You can join the Gun and Gamer Steam community. And uh, also, we want to make sure that you uh, check out our TeamSpeak. Come in and have a chat with us. I'll give all the information for our TeamSpeak. Join our public community and uh, come in, find some friends to game with. And uh, that's what it's all about, having fun. So, folks, have a great day. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, take care.